Hello children. Today we are going to read this prose section. Robinson Crusoe discovers a footprint for class 5th unit number 3. But before we start with the story, here let's see the word discovers. Discovery? Now uh, let me frame a sentence for you. Like uh, Christopher Columbus discovered America. So, discovery means when you discover something which is already there, but nobody has found it yet. And when you found that thing, that is called discovery. But then there is another word that is called invention. Now, what is invention, children? Invention means to invent something new which did not exist earlier. Like, Alexander Graham Bell invented telephone. So, I think the difference between discovery and invention is very much clear here. Let's start with the story now. Robinson Crusoe's ship had been destroyed by the sea. Robinson Crusoe was sailing in a ship. Okay, but something happened and his ship was destroyed he had been alone for many years and longed for company here longing for company means looking for a friend one day he discovers a footprint now children what is footprint footprint is actually the print of your feet you are having feet palm okay and when there is a print of it that is called footprint on the sand let's find out what he did then okay now he has actually found a footprint and now let's start with the story that what actually he did then one day i was going towards my boat so means robinson crusoe is saying that one day he is actually going towards his boat his boat must, must be around the shore right so he just went there I was surprised to see the footprint of a man on the sand. Now he saw a footprint of a human man on the sand. I stood amazed. Okay, now because it is a deserted island. Deserted here means aloof where nobody lives. And if you find somebody's footprint, so definitely you will be amazed. It means somebody else is also there other than me. Right? So, I listened, I looked around me. I could neither hear nor see anything. I looked for everything. He actually looked for everything but he could not hear. Usko kuch sunai nahi diya or see anything. I went up higher to look down. So, he went up little higher maybe on top of a hill to see if he can see something. Okay. I went up the shore and down the shore. But it was no good. But it wasn't helping it. I could find no other footprint but that one. But it is very strange that he was not able to find even the second footprint. Only one footprint. And children you know that a human being has two, uh, two legs. And if it is some animal he must have four feet. Right? So... I went to it again to see if there were any more footprints and to tell if it had been my imagination. So, sometime he was also wondering it is might possible that I am just imagining, okay, there is no footprint. But I was not mistaken. But he is saying that it was not my mistake. For there was exactly a print of a foot because there was a print of a foot. Toes, heel, every part of a foot. Now you must have seen your foot, right? It has toes also. Toes means paaron ki ungliyan, heel. I could not imagine how it came there. Now he is just wondering that how a footprint can come on a sand. I stayed a long time thinking but became more and more confused. He was just standing there and he was thinking and thinking but he was getting only confused. At last, I returned home very frightened. So, at last, Robinson Crusoe is very frightened and he gets back to his home. 
looking behind me after every two or three steps and he is just looking behind every time because he's so scared that somebody will come from back and pounce on him mistaking every bush and tree to be a man and he's just thinking that all the trees hai na he's thinking that this is human this is human it is here to attack me when i came to my cave which i called my castle now children you know what is castle castle is actually uh, you know uh, it is used in english referred to as um, a house for witches okay it is a conical shape house i ran inside it as if i was being chased okay it was like you know somebody was chasing him in the cave i do not remember whether i used the ladder or went in by the hole okay and now he is he just does not remember that whether he used the ladder ladder is siri okay or went in by the hole in the rock okay he just went inside which i called the door i ran for cover faster than any animal could run and he ran so fast okay just protecting himself faster than any animal can run i did not sleep that night the more i thought about what i had seen the more afraid i became and he was thinking about and he was getting really afraid i thought it could be one of the savages of the mainland who had wandered out to the sea in the small boat and he is thinking that uh, maybe some savages savages means the people those who live in the deserted area okay luckily i was not on shore at that time he is thinking ki thank god i was not on the shore at that time but what if he had seen my boat if he had seen the boat he would have realized that someone lived on the island and would soon return with others to kill and eat me and he's just robinson is so afraid that he's thinking that savage will come to kill him and so i lay fearful for many days and prayed for protection so he is just there okay and he is praying that please help me to the god in doing so i was much comforted and began going out to investigate so now he is brave enough and he wants to investigate it again but even now as i went forward i looked behind frequently because i was still very frightened now see children here what happened he is going to dis- to investigate the situation but he is still so scared that every time he just turns back and see if somebody is coming from behind however as i went about for two or three days and saw nothing i became a little bolder here bolder means brave bold okay when he saw that actually nobody is coming so he actually became little bold i decided to go down to the shore again and examine the footprint once more he thought ke let me go again and let me examine it i decided to measure it with my own foot mark he kept his own foot in it and he just saw that maybe it is my foot mark as i came closer to the footprint i realized that it could not be my footprint because i had not come to this part of the beach since a long time then he is thinking but i have not come this part of the beach then how it can be my footprint secondly i placed my foot alongside that footprint it seemed larger than my own okay now the footprint is little bigger than his own feet my fear returned i went home again believing that there was someone there the land was inhabited okay now he is thinking that no somebody is definitely living in this island other than me okay so this is now in his head now this is a very beautiful story children it is adapted from daniel dofes robinson crusoe okay a uh, means a uh, Uh, robinson crusoe is actually a very b- big book and from that this part is taken for you and it is written by daniel dofe
Thank you children and happy learning.